walking in the 727 doing radio checks. If the HEU could not tune those frequencies, it would just keep that tone would keep going, which is quite annoying. But if it stops within 11 seconds, that successfully tuned each one. That's the ATU doing its thing. That's tuning in the aerial now. Pretty cool, eh? 7272, this is MRT ground switching to channel 2. It's going to be the handle that you pull out from, but before you do that, there's another little way yep. to do for you there that should slide across, and as you pull it up, as you slide it across, it should come out. Okay, so most of these modern um, glass panel displays are quite easy to remove. And just pull out, just make sure that you don't put your fingers, when you get it all the way out, don't put your fingers in the connector. And just make sure that you support it so it's going to press you down and you get it crossed. And then hand it to me. Okay, beautiful. So it's nice and easy. Um, we've got the connector there. So once again, when you're dragging it out, you don't want to put your fingers in there um, and bend the pins or zap any static sensitive equipment. Place that one there. Have a quick look down there. I oh, know it's pretty dirty and dusty, but it's had a bit pretty damage to the wiring. Uh, it's not very encouraging, but it is off at the moment. So it comes up with a display test, and uh, just push the, um, the test button in. Okay, you actually feel the antenna zipping around. You notice though that number that's going up and down, yeah. that was um, the tilt up and tilt down. Yeah. So we've gone through a test. Um, after a couple of seconds, so and it should actually, it, it'll go through a test, it'll transmit, and then it'll just stay in that mode. If there's a fail, it will come up with a fail. Okay, if it does come up with a fail, it'll be, it should, yeah, it should be that. But that's only TR fail, because it's in the, in the off mode. So go back to self-test. This is a self-test, so the system is, um, yeah. It's really good when the when the nose is open. You can see the antenna going side to side, up and down, vertically. There's a whole lot of movement. Matt, no. Yep. Okay. Now, look up the top of the display. You see, you'll see a little cursor moving back and forth. Yep. Okay. So that's we're actually scanning at the moment. And as you can see, the sunlight's a bit plain. Okay, um, you've got your various ranges there. So you see the range buttons along the side. If you, uh, if you say, put 240 or 160, you can change the ranges. So I should do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good play. So that means that, that maximum range is 160. Um, is that Pete? Or is it easier? 40, 40. Yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah, that's right. So they'll, they'll all be quarter range markings. Um, have a play with the two knobs up the top and the bottom, the marker and the intensity. Okay, the the intensity one probably play around with the marker one, and you'll see you should see the ring the range rings disappear, okay. and you can you can delete them entirely. Okay, we'll bring it back. Okay, um, if you just push the left, forward, and right buttons. Okay, if you want to see what's out to the left of you, you get a full picture there. get to about five degrees, don't want to go much more than that. Note that the tilt there is the arrow, so it's saying that it's tilt up and it's about seven degrees. Okay, keep going. You should see, hang on. Oh, sorry, go to push the 20 mile range. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go, okay, and I'll just, I'll just tilt up a little bit. Okay, so those are the top of the hills. We're tilted up about six degrees, yep, so um, you can tell the range. 
and um, the inner the inner ring there is about five nautical miles. So they're between five and ten nautical miles, and the really big um, peaks which are further out and beyond the initial foothills. Right? And the vertical gyros should now be spun up. You should see a bit of a change. Okay, I'll just go now. All right, see what's happened to the display? The tilt has actually changed because at the on an unstabilised, it's just reference to the aircraft axis. Now the aircraft is pointed down quite a lot, so it's scanning lower. As soon as we go to vertical, it, it um, is reference to the true horizontal. So the, the antenna has to say, okay, that's really intense cloud, but it's actually just bouncing off. So um, yeah, you, know, you want to be up in clear air to use the weather um, function. It looks pretty good.